And, and my point just is that the websites that I will be talking about, uh, 163888.net and funbay.com, um, that were destroyed in 2009, taken down in 2009, 2010, can be thought of on one hand as a community, a place where people were interacting and not living, like Kashgar, and were taken down for unknown reasons. I can't actually establish a real reason for it. Um, the, the founder of the network was in prison, but that doesn't mean that you take apart the business with millions of subscribers on the internet, unless you have other reasons. Um, so uh, I, I just want to talk about what this ethnic community means. Um, one of the very interesting things, the reason I started documenting this in 2007 was that you have lots of Uyghurs interacting mostly with other Uyghurs. I didn't see much ethnic interaction. You have multilingual interaction, but you don't really have indications that you have different, uh, different people. So it's not a context necessarily for uh, bringing people together, but culturally it's youth culture uh, that does bring people together. Okay, so I'm thinking of these as manuscripts. One, another metaphor something that we missed, something that was on the internet, millions of people generating them in Chinese, uh, in Uyghur, and basically we couldn't store them, we weren't interested in them. I don't know, maybe somebody does have a nice archive of them. Archive.com, uh, archive.org does not preserve much of this material. Uh, and there's no institutional base that I know of for this kind of material. So this reproduces many times over, you have all over the world the same problem. Uh, basically, a kind of heritage, it's youth culture, as you'll see, I'm not sure all of us want to preserve this forever and ever, but at the same time, it is the first 20 years of the internet as a social networking environment. Uh, and one of the things I started thinking, okay, well, uh, you know, a new archiving system, oh, we'll need a new standard, that reminded me of XKCD, how standards proliferate, so we'll need a new standard. And then I noticed that XKCD actually perpetuates the absence of the Chinese internet. So XKCD, one of the best researchers in the world on many topics, somehow turned China into QQ. Which, if we all of us know that, I mean, it's it's a larger now at least a larger internet using country than any other country in the world. So, and and you also you, you sort of miss it there. This model. Malu Gubi is the other thing he managed to squeeze in there. Those of you who know who that, what that is. Um, okay, so what is a social network? Why is this uh, different than the internet as a whole? All of us, I hope by now, know. Um, but, it, but it's interesting to think about what the details are. The details are you're interacting with people in a simple environment, you create a, person, a persona for yourself, and you link yourself to other people through very specific kinds of communicative actions. And so if, I don't have the time, but for a paper on this, one of the things I would point out is the kinds of actions you can do on this earlier site, uh, funmed.com, are actually not really available in the same way on the, the current sites. Um, and one of the things is this is open interaction. There's an audience to this. So, so you have not just me writing an email to you or QQ or other, other direct back and forth, but you have the audience. And most of this is a performance in front of an audience. And I think that's very important to keep in mind when you're talking about social networks. Um, this is what attracts people into them. This is why it's grew so fast. So you insert, you insert content. You have computer tools. I mean, all of this depended on people getting more used to uh, combining images, developing the software for, for doing this with Google text and so on. Uh, expressing ideas and commitments about love, we'll see over and over again, lifestyle, fashion, sexualities, Islam, politics, drugs. Okay, in 2007, I saw all of a sudden some very interesting images on Uyghur social network sites that were saying, okay, what are these topics? What are these themes? That's why I saved some of this material. I didn't save enough. It's gone uh, for the most part, as far as I know. Um, some of it is trolling, I would say. I would say there were Uyghur trolls, just like there are other trolls. Shocking <laughs> images, vulgar images, 
I'm generating a response to get people's response. And hopefully, many of you have participated and can remember this. Uh, and, and you can see it now, too, but on the other side. Uh, but centered on exchange and interaction, uh, a few artists creating content, and many people reposting, circulating the content, maybe editing it a little bit, or adding in their own version. Okay, so these are the two pages that I started getting interested in in 2007. Uh, it's not on the cutting edge, I didn't see it until 2007. Uh, it was actually exactly when they changed uh, name. Um, but this is, a, this is basically, this was modeled on MySpace, uh, which nobody has heard of anymore. <laughs> nobody uses it anymore. But what, what's important is you could put any ASCII character in. You couldn't put in a Uyghur Arabic, Arabic script character except in an image. So think of this when you're archiving this. If you don't archive the images, you've lost everything that was written in Arabic script. And there were music and videos, the main description is this is a music sharing site. Okay, and, and this is just a, using Google Trends, I'm, I'm not an expert enough on researching the past, and I'm sure there are very easy ways to do this, but I just don't know how to find out how popular these were in real terms. So this is only uh, impressionistic. This is My, Mice Love Rights, which is apparently the song that made this uh, 163888.net site popular. So you'll see you'll see who the person is, but anyway, that's how uh, it became popular. And you'll see this is what everybody was searching for in Chinese uh, and a few others. I put in Weibo to you'll see. Fun Day and 163888 are very small. Song of Pig, you'll see later. Um, so now I'm comparing it with sites that are roughly the same. And, and uh, so, uh, Fun Bay, let's see, what do I have? So the blue, yeah, blue, uh, Fun Bay is very minor. Um, uh, 56.com is a pretty major site. 163.com is a pretty major site. They're not the biggest site. So again, this is, my point is just to show that these were minor sites. They had millions of users. They were still minor <coughs> sites in the overall Chinese uh, internet uh, ecology. Um, and here it's just comparing those two sites. So, uh, 16388, no, sorry. 163888 is there. Uh, this is the other song that was popular. Uh, song of Pig. <laughs> Sorry, that's what it is. And, um, and then, so, so 163888 is replaced by Fun Day. And they are not interesting after they are closed in 2010. At which point, I just put in Weibo. Weibo goes much higher. I just wanted to put that in as another comment. Slide. Okay, so here is our, our founder. Uh, founded in 2003 by a 21-year-old computer scientist, like most of these great sites, founded by the very young, and grew very rapidly, again, because it's a visible site for interaction, I think it attracts people very quickly, obviously, Facebook is the same thing. Um, so very, very quickly, uh, renamed, rebranded, re, uh, became you know, the, the darling of, of international investment in some ways, but somehow or another the founder was involved in pornography sites, which were a completely different thing. They had nothing to do with these sites. Um, at least I saw no evidence of it, no, nothing that I came across describes those sites as being um, connected to this case and his arrest and incarceration. Um, so, uh, now I'll just talk about the, the pages, uh, just briefly, so that, because I'm going to present uh, some examples. So, what's on the sidebar? What's in the main fields? Uh, you know, it's a, it's a fairly rich environment. There's a fairly complex number of things. And the main thing you can do is you get in touch with people through um, through all of these different contexts. Um, so I, I don't think we have to go through all of these, but. But the main idea is you're sharing media, you're putting up images, uh, you're, you have a blog where you put your comments about yourself, you have pictures of your friends, you have circles, you can join clubs, um, you, can, you can post videos, you have a photo album, 
Uh, one of the most important things is the interactive. Uh, all of these obviously are somewhat interactive. They're meant to be read by somebody else. You're posting or you're adding yourself to somebody else's list of fans and so on. But the most interactive is where you can actually have a dialogue. And one of the things you can do, which I think is fairly unique, was unique for funbay.com, was that you could put a photo on somebody else's uh, blog, guest book. Um, so, okay, and then how much of this is archived? Um, Sorry, I think I have these a little out of order, but anyway. Uh, as far as I can tell, of the millions, 10, 10 million or more, many more pages, about 200,000 pages were archived at archive.org. Um, but these actually are very fragmentary. Some of them redirect to the current site, which the site doesn't do anything now. Um, none of them have images or videos or music, and none of the Uyghur scripts. Uyghur text in Arabic um, the, the Most of the features about linking between pages are poorly preserved. You can sort of see what people have posted on each other's uh, sites. Uh, some photos you can find elsewhere on the internet, so the photos haven't all gotten lost. Um, but you'll see often 163888 is one of the branding that uh, was made very common. Uh, by, you know, just when you post a photo to the site, the site put its brand on your photo. Okay, this is what an archive looks like. So this is an archive page. It's very limited. Um, I, I, haven't, I haven't given you the whole thing. You do get a lot of the ASCII text, the actual character text, uh, but none of the photos are anything. Uh, photos make it look like that. So this is not, you know, you basically have, you can use various scripts, not Arabic script, to put your name up. In this case, a woman has put up her name in Chinese script. Lots and lots of people. This is all they put up is Xinjiang. They don't have any other localization, <coughs> gender, age. Um, Sometimes their own picture, sometimes a picture from, from media. Same thing with, with this. And these are, this one actually didn't end up with the branding as far as I can tell for some reason. But anyway, so this is, this is just a very typical page. I just wanted to sort of pick one of the, at random, one of the most typical page, pages with the buttons for people adding themselves to your list, writing on your, on your blog and so on. And this is what you see in general in the fields, in the text fields. You have a combination of all different kinds of character sets, but most commonly Chinese, and then Latin script to write Uyghur words. Uh, and this is, you know, I, 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 you know I'm, I'm not an expert in this. I hope somebody who's really good at this will figure out, you know, what all these other things are, right? So the Latin script, but then what, what, what are these symbols? Okay, <laughs> I mean, this is, it, it gets very complicated. And 520, I hope. How many people know what 520 means? Okay, nobody. Is that really true? Nobody knows what 520 is? Okay, I'm speaking to an audience which has really not explored these sites. Okay, good, a few more. Okay, so it's, it's uh, Chinese um, slang. Basically, so this is a Uyghur woman using a lot of Chinese uh, and English and everything else, but also this Chinese slang. Chinese slang that 520 shows up. You've got it's got to be the most common uh, phrase here, and it's the same as I love you. It's just the, the sound of the Chinese word is put in the numbers. Yeah. <laughs> okay. So this is new to you too. Okay. So good. I'm bringing you a whole new slice of Uyghur culture. Oh, and I did want to find out. I will be, most of this is not very political, most of it, you know, if, if you have anything sort of dangerous, it's more likely to be something about drugs, uh, sex, or, uh, yeah, anyway. But we do have a little wolf up there, Bashbura. Okay, and this, so every once in a while you get fairly subtle, that one at least is fairly subtle, right? Political, uh, political gestures. I'm just going to go down this page just to show you sort of the rough content. So this is the profile side over and over again. I love you, that's very common, blah, blah, blah. Various poems, this thing sort of bit together, so back and forth. These are people having a dialogue with 
this person. Um, and, yeah. Okay, so this is a dancing in, in the real site. This is dancing. You know, this is a moving thing. These are these are your your fans. So anybody can go and basically uh, sign up as your fan. I'm not sure who has the right to post, but maybe everybody. Okay. Okay. So here's funday.com. Slightly different. I'm blocking out this because this is actually the new site has loaded itself in. This is the the sort of hip hop Chinese Uyghur imagery. Um, typical. Okay. So this is a guy, and you have mostly women uh, linking to a few images, slightly sexualized images. Uh, another woman. <laughs> I'm uh, not even putting in a name, really. Um, let's see. Okay, so I don't want to, and you know, some more. Lots of notes back and forth. Islamic sites. So that, that's the other thing that was interesting about this. Some sites were, some pages were quite uh, Islam oriented. And, I mean, basically Islamic imagery, uh, Islamic poetry, Alabir, Alabir, uh, and uh, most of their friends seem to also be of similar orientation. But it did become a context where people could have slight arguments. This obviously this is more in the trolling mode, right? Um, not many friends. This guy didn't have a lot of friends. I don't think he wanted many friends. He just wanted to say, okay, here's, here's something else we can do on this page. I mean, the, one of the important things about this is it's experimentation, right? And it's experimentation in a very public media. Um, and, and so people interact. And they, they uh, sometimes you'll see, sometimes people have very strong comments. Friendly interaction. In Chinese. Um, right here, I'm just putting the image of the icon of the person with whom, not the person who's posted this, but the person who's being posted to it. Visiting cards, uh, graphics. I don't know why I got it because it's just friendly interaction. Those were, this is cute. This is very nice. Now, if you look online, fortunately, Google lets you search for photos. I can find this photo on an Iranian website. So somebody, this is another thing, people pull these together from all over the world and then repurpose them, place them in this kind of sending cards. But uh, this one's interesting. So this is her name, this is her identity, this is the photo she uses for herself. This is some guy who posts on the page, and this is a, a running woman, Sizzling Chu. So, flirting, okay, and that's, I mean, it doesn't get much worse than that. So it's pretty common. Okay, and this is the story this woman has put into the, pro the uh, sidebar, the profile the story of a pig. A pig, this is what it is. Nice, we go boom, deaf. Okay, this is, this is a, um, a guy who obviously has decided he doesn't really care how he presents himself. He's not interested in making friends, and he gets back uh, criti criticisms from from more Muslim-oriented people. So here, a lot of people claim to be Muslim, but they don't act Muslim. Okay, and this is another photo that was posted right before this by the same user. Okay, so so basically he's responding to this uh, identity, this guy Mechnun, with this with this image of sort of anyway cultural control. Another one, and I don't unfortunately have what got posted here, but I, this is basically trolling with some rude image uh, linked from the person's own blog. And then the response from people commenting, when they click on the link, they go to a picture, I don't know what the picture was, but judging from the responses, it was pretty bad because the person's being asked, is he really a Uyghur? If you posted that image, you must not even be a Uyghur. You must be uh, Han or, anyway, so it's a Haram image. We don't know what it is. Um, I, I, I tried to capture some of these exchanges with, it, with uh, images. I think, I think I've lost one that was just because of a <coughs> pornographic image that somebody had similar responses. This is, um, yeah, I'll, I'll just go through these quickly. Uh, uh, okay, this is an interesting one. This is another reason I was very taken by this site. It's 
pretty graphic, and it's for, this image gets used a lot. So a lot of people wanted to say, okay, one minute, a lot of people wanted to say, okay, love is like this. Um, comes up in at least three different places. This is just other images of love. Uh, this is very common. Okay, I didn't even see a whole lot of pictures of it. Um, but a lot more of the sexualized images, very few. I just put in these as some examples of sort of more traditional images. And Islam was fairly common, not that um, text uh, in Islam. Uh, and this is very common, the sort of self-destructive, you know, again, images borrowed from the internet. <coughs> Uh, and this is very uncommon, but it does happen. Um, the wolf image, the, the, the flag image. This one I only found because Rachel has it in an article of hers, and I could cut it out of her article, put it into Google, and Google found me that this image is actually now on uh, academia.org. It's not even on a Chinese based website. But this was on a Chinese based website. Okay. A few other ethnic groups. Stop. Okay. And then I'll just put up the contemporary sense. Okay, thank you very much.